This new video obtained by Al Jazeera shows what demonstrators faced on a day that claimed more than two dozen lives in the town of Dara. Inside the Al Amari Mosque, a man lies dying. His compatriots do what little they can to try to save him. For others, it's too late. Their bodies loaded into the back of pickup trucks. Many in the city have told us they were afraid to go to hospital, fearing the secret police would be there to arrest them. Outside the mosque in the valley south of the city center, the battle lines are drawn as riot police are seen charging towards protesters. Anger manifests itself into a low-grade melee, rocks are thrown, and a return volley of tear gas is fired back. Those still able to throw stones do so, while others use motorbikes to ferry wounded back to the rear. People everywhere do what they can to deal with the sting of tear gas. And even the occasional canister that is fired comes flying back towards the police, courtesy of an outraged protester. Suddenly, automatic gunfire can be heard ringing out. The government claims it was fired upon by gunmen in plain clothes. This video has been airing on Syrian state television since Friday. Outside what remains of the Ba'ath Party headquarters, freshly burned to the ground, children sit on their parents' shoulders, looking not at a new city, but a country that has forever changed. Syria has never seen internal violence like this. It's a country that prides itself on tranquility, but now seems to be in the grips of what the rest of the region is dealing with, continued protests and violence. For decades, people have been afraid of this regime, but now perhaps a regime that is afraid of its own people. Cal Perry, Al Jazeera, Damascus.